Oh, here's that guy. Is the way clear? The demon's gone. Praise the Creator. Praise the Creator. And bless you, Wanderer. Yes, the way yes. is clear. I will lead my flock through the basement. He has a bunch of birds. Site. I hope you will come find us there, Wanderer. There is much to be done. Oh God. <sighs> Why me? I really just want to see. Are you, are you gonna go with him? Hey. Uh, Jason will deliver us from the pain of this world. You're not gonna go with your friends? Ah, man. So kill that guy. Alright. Let us go. Whoa, guys got freaking astronaut heads on now. Let's squeeze down this way. Yeah, that's just a high enough jump to where you don't take fall damage. If you fell on the ground, you would you'd take fall damage. Just saying, just saying. So, lucky for me, I kind of know where I'm going again. Because otherwise, you could get lost down here for a very long time. Uh, I'm going to take a quick little detour. I, want to, I think it was, it was this other room over here. There's like a safe, I think, in here. There's a room in over here with a safe in it. See, I'm gonna get lost again. Is it this one? Ooh, look, it's Antler. I found him. <laughs> Stupid Antler. Well, we could could get some food while we're here. Dirty water, squirrel stew. Unfortunately, we're almost full. Is this it? No, that's empty. Pilot lights, ton of them. Oh, I know where to come if I ever need to make something. I might actually get my repair up just so I can make stuff, because you can make some pretty neat stuff like weapon repair kits. See, I'm gonna get lost down here. I'm not going anymore. I'm going back. I thought there was like, there's a safe down here somewhere. I remember. Um, if you if, if you want to go looking for it, by all means, go look for it. I don't feel like you're right now and getting lost and while doing this, so um, basically you just need to go down where Antler was and the Davison. This opens up and then you just kind of follow this down. Okay, seriously, gotta take that long opening the Star Wars doors. Hey, look at me! I can open up like Star Wars. Um, let's see. Ew! Don't want any of your crap. Where's all the good stuff? There was some good stuff. Barrel, move! You too. No one said you could be standing up. Alright, here's our last door to look at. I don't think there's anything in here. Yep, nothing. Oh wait, here's one. I don't think there was anything in this one as well. There's a reloading bench. Um, something crazy that I don't even know what that is. So, a whole lot of meaningless stuffs. Anyways, these guys are in here. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I waited to speak with you one last time before I descended to the launch pad, Wanderer. I want you to know that we will remember for all eternity how you delivered us to the threshold of the Great Journey. Mm -hmm. Our preparations are nearly complete. But the rockets that will carry us to salvation are yet missing vital components. Right, right. If you yeah, would still help us, Wanderer, speak to Chris. He can tell you what is missing. There is no way that we can thank you enough, Wanderer. Your arrival here was a blessing. We will remember you always. Um. Goodbye, Jason. There is no way that we can thank. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I don't care. Um. So I could wear this thing. Yeah. Mint hats. Stim pack. Medics. Can you say free stuff? See, this is why. Let's see, what do we need? Science explosives. So you can make bottle cap mine with explosives at 75? Hmm. Let's 
Let's see what we just can't make real quick. Like kind of some of the things we need in here. Let's see, we medicine. Make a doctor's bag. Science, science. A lot of science. Oop. Explosives. You can make a tire bomb, huh? So we need duct tape, egg timer, and scrap electronics. That could be kind of cool. And then this. This is why I kind of want to repair at 50, because weapon repair kits are beast. Love them. Level 70, you can make stim packs. So this this thing, you know, making stuff is pretty cool, you know. Um, kind of like that aspect. So let's talk to this guy. Jason says that I am to cooperate with you on the final tasks necessary to launch the great journey. How can I help? I was close to completing work on the rockets before we were driven into hiding on the top floor. Two components were missing. A quantity of isotope 239 igniting agent, and a set of thrust control modules. The igniting agent is highly radioactive and decays quickly. That's why we can't use the drums that leak down on the launch pad. It's no longer potent enough. I need you to find an intact, shielded container of the igniting agent. As for the thrust control modules, they were custom built for these rockets. They won't even launch without them. Uh, wonder. Let me get back to you. Greg. Where's that? Where's that Jason guy? Jason, where'd you go? Are you around here? I wanted to speak with you. Was I too busy loggy gagging somewhere? Here, maybe, maybe we can catch him. Just in time, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. So, he's lost him. Dang. I was gonna talk to him about Chris because they're not, they're not taking him. And um, if you tell him that, then he's gonna get really upset and quite possibly help you sabotage these guys so they like crash into stuff when they um, go out so I'm not seeing Jason so that's uh, slightly unfortunate I don't know how to get in that room over there yeah wow look at that they actually got another ghoul over there yeah, there's Jason right there how the heck did they get in there There's got to be a way to get in there. Actually, I don't know. I don't think they do let you in there. Because I think it's a little too radioactive in there. Whoa, whoa. Why? What happens if I break the glass, guy? It ain't, it ain't. So I'll play along. Are you ready to get started? Uh, what do you do here? I'm the Flock's resident engineer. I've always been good with machines. Jason says the great journey would have been impossible without me. Of course, my skills aren't much use unless I have the right materials. That's where you come in. Why won't they let you work down on the launch pad? When I joined the flock, Jason made it clear that he wanted me to supervise the repairs, not do them myself. It would be a waste of my gifts to work on just one system at a time, from up here, I've been able to supervise the entire project. Radiation down there would kill you, Chris, because you're human. I thought we were past all that smooth skin. But you just can't resist the chance to mess with me. Typical human. I was human once, you know. <laughs> Grew up in Vault 34, northeast of here. Wait, did you take a nice gold to the knee? if you like assault rifles and target practice. But oh, you prefer machines that don't shoot people? Not so nice then. Who should maintain the vault's reactor? Hauser? Mitchell? No. Make it Haversome. He likes machines. Haversome won't mind getting irradiated. Haversome won't mind mutating. He's already ugly as it is. Haversome won't mind when his hair starts falling out after a few years. There's no connection, Haversom. You're neurotic. <laughs> you left your vault because you were going bald. Bald? 
You call this bald, smooth skin? I'm a monster. A monster! <laughs> so the Great Journey will use those rockets? Obviously. It's taken months, but I've nearly got them in working order. Soon they'll take us to the far beyond. I was skeptical at first, of course, being a man of science. But Jason is certain, and I believe in Jason. How can I help? As I said before. Hey, 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 hey. now track down the igniation. Very well. We don't need a huge amount. Two to three liters should be enough. Roger. Thank you going. Do, do, do. I think I can only do one at a time, which is unfortunate. Actually, let me make sure of this. Have you found the components we? I think that allows me to do both of them. Alright, so if you didn't know, this is actually a quick way out. Booyah! And what we're going to do is we're actually going to a fast travel. Real quick. To Novak! And come on, come on, now. There we go. Wait, wait a second. Ah, dang, it's making me go down and get these first. Anyways, I know where the other one's at, so I'm just gonna go get it first. The other one's over this way. I should be able to get them both. Traveling merchant, this is an old lady. Think. Hey there. Oh no, you're not. Need any? Like see your wares. Who sure. oh, wears? Just... Some dynamite, frag grenades, frag mines. I'll take those, lady. Uh, apparel, apparel. Take some of your purified water. Do I have anything to sell? Yes, I do. I do. I do. Um, weapons. You. Are a proud owner of a new laser rifle, plasma rifle, and a rebar club. Thank you. Thank you oh so much. Now some of these these uh these things I'm gonna kind of keep. Um, I can't remember if I can actually get it home here or not. I think. Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I just gotta find which faction I want to go with. And uh, whichever one I go with is going to give me some kind of little home, and uh, I'll keep like my stuff in there. But there's a area just up here. I know there's a guy laying on the ground in a crazy-looking yellow outfit that you can actually take. I think it's the only one in the game. I'm not sure. There might be another one somewhere else. It's the only one I've ever seen. Um, but he's got some of that igniting agent on him. That one, right there. That guy. <gasps> yes, sir. And isotope igniting agent. Take this and that. Uh, do I want that? No, I don't. I hear stuff. I know there's like crazy things all around me, so what I'm gonna do for the sake of time, we're gonna quick travel back to Novak. Which, seeing how we're not that far away, shouldn't take that long to load. And we'll run down the road here. We'll pick up our thrust control modules. We'll be on our way. We'll be able to find out where the checkered man in the coat went to. Hopefully to get some experience. And tell us where they went. 